hustlers, hustlers, hustlers. What's cracking? It's your boy Deshaun. You already know the owner and creator of Roof Hustlers, right? Listen, we had the Roof Gallery in Marietta, Georgia, February 1st, Black History Month inclusion event, right? Why is this important? Because um, it's important to open the door to all types of people into this industry, black, brown, white, don't matter, right? We want to create that diversity and let people know the roofing industry is a place where you can come in, learn some skills, and change your life, right? And this Black History Month, man, we want to represent for all the black contractors out there in the industry give you a place that's safe to come and learn grow and get better and what a better place to do that at than at the roof gallery man so listen today I'm gonna to be talking about six principles and practices for prosperity that way um you can have a phenomenal year right and most people say I'm prosperous then I ask them what that mean so I want to show you actually how to be prosperous in 2024 man so listen anytime you're in Marietta Georgia stop by the roofing gallery it's not just a roofing office it's a museum of all how awesome the roofing industry is man and you already know it's your boy Deshaun with Roof Hustle and as always baby hustle hard hustle smart and don't be afraid to vote God so I gotta bring up Deshaun Bryant of Roof Hustlers 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 so we got our boy Antonio in the back wearing a bow tie, just, you know, just to rap, be like, I know who coming. <laughs> of course, this is you. I'm going to move all that. So again, Deshaun Bryant, um, he was here for our um, first event during our grand opening. That was January 18th of last year. Um, we inducted him into the Roofing Hall of Fame. So if everybody just look back there real quick, you see the, the infamous Roof Hustlers bow tie. Hey, hey, this guy does this. He does national trainings for companies after company after company every week. He don't take a week off. Every time you look at him on his Instagram or social media, you see him on a plane going somewhere. You see him landing back. You see him walk on doing, as far as knocking doors with other companies, shows success. So at the end of the day, this is the guy that you look at if you're in the roofing industry, if you're looking to have any kind of success as far as sales, as far as in a mindset, this is who you're going to talk to, the Sean Bryant, Roof Hustlers. Hey! So real quick, just for the vibe check, when I say roof, y'all say hustlers. Roof! Hustlers! Roof! Hustlers! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Oh man, so, uh, so uh, before I get going, I, I think I got about, I think I got about a solid maybe 30, 35 minutes, don't worry, I'm going to get y'all in and out of here. Um, I, like, I used to make music too, and I was always the last person on the song, and I call it the bus driver, right? I mean, you get to take that thing home, right? So um, before I get going, can everybody do me a huge favor? Can everybody just stand up real quick and just stretch and just like, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. your legs, just like, shake it up. So, um, I'm going to get going. How are everybody doing this afternoon, first of all? Love it, love it, good energy, good energy. So I, I do want to let y'all in on a little secret before I get going. I like, I like to share this everywhere that I go. But um, I'm assuming everybody goal in here is to make big money, correct? Absolutely. Right? Right. And, I, and I'm talking about like, not $100,000, because that's what society told you is good money. If, if you study economics right now in society, um, if you make $104,000 right now in today's society, it's equivalent to $50,000 in 1999, which means um, you need to be making six figures minimum or you're behind the eight ball, right? Like, you, you struggling right now if you don't make six figures. And I'm not a, um, I ain't trying to, like, talk down to nobody or nothing. I'm just letting you know um, you need to make some money. I'm just being real with you because inflation is real. It, it ain't like you broke, but it's like, ah, it is what it is, right? But, um... And I ain't talking about 100000 I'm talking about 250000 dollars 300000 half a million dollars. Like, I'm, a whole, I'm assuming that's most people y'all go. Y'all hold my boy, heard my boy, Mr. Byrne. He said you need multiple streams. He got nine of them, right? He said he made really good money, right? And one of the big secrets to making big money in life is you need big energy, right? You need big energy. It's, it's this thing called, um, I think it's called myopia. Or my, my, it's something like that. But it's a book called The Billionaire Effect, and they say, one of the traits that high-level billionaires got is the ability to exert high levels of energy for a long time. Mm. So everywhere I go, I'm phenomenal. I'm amazing. 
I'm on 10. Just to put it in perspective for y'all, I drove from Florida last night at 8.30. Before I got on the road, I had to take my son, my son and my daughter through like an hour and a half tutoring session. Right after I got off of that, got up on the road, drove here, got here at 3.30 in the morning, 3.45, woke up at 7.30, went to the gym, got a 35-minute workout in. I did a coaching call from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and then I've been here since 10 o'clock just waiting to get up on stage. Right? Let's go. So you need high levels of energy if you want to, like, make it big in life, right? And I ain't doing that for a round of applause. I just want to let y'all know Kevin Gates said it, but y'all ain't here. He said he don't get what? Tired. He don't get tired, but y'all get tired. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. So you're going to need high levels of energy if you plan on making big money in life, right? So everywhere I go, I tell people I'm amazing, I'm stupendous, I'm phenomenal, I'm sensational. And some of y'all are like, well, so what? I just say I'm good. You know who nobody don't want to hang around? People who are doing good. You want to know why? Because they're struggling. And they say, how you doing? They say, I'm doing good. And then you say, how you doing? You say, you doing good. And they're like, well, if I'm doing good and you're doing good, I don't want to be around you. So next time somebody asks how you're doing, tell them you're amazing. Tell them you're phenomenal. Tell them you're stupendous. And watch how it changes the energy of the people around you. Right? So quick story, and then I'll jump into my training. I'm going to teach y'all six practices and principles for prosperity. Everybody want to be prosperous, right? You send that text message in the morning, be prosperous today. Right? So I want to show you how to actually be prosperous. So quick story, and then I get going. So y'all know sprouts like Whole Foods, whatever. I tell the story, everybody go, because it's pretty powerful. So I walk into uh, Sprouts one day, lady say, how you doing today? I say, I'm amazing. She said, that's the best answer I got all day. I just want to show y'all, that's how quick it is to not be, that's how easy it is to not be average. Mm -hmm. How you respond to people. Mm -hmm. I'm amazing. She's like, that's the best answer I got all day. Come back in there a second time. She said, how you doing today? I say, I'm phenomenal. She just cheesy. I come back in there the third day, she was waiting for me at the front door. She said, you my favorite customer. She said, nobody bring energy like you bring in here, and anytime you come into the store, I'll ring you up every time. Now every time I see her, how you think she responds? I'm amazing. I'm phenomenal. Because that's what big energy do. So from this day moving forward, change the way you respond to people. So let me ask y'all one more again. How y'all doing this afternoon? I love you. I promise you. Just start answering people like that. They're going to start looking at you crazy. Because they're going to be wondering why you so good. And first of all, it's because y'all woke up this morning, y'all blessed. Amen. Right? Amen. I got a homie um, that I met on a cruise a year and a half ago. Not on a cruise, we went to the Dominican Republic for a wedding. Okay. You know what I mean? My boy, okay, he said, it's Dominican. Yeah, we're in uh, Punta Cana, right? And um, I met this dude at a wedding, awesome guy, 31 years old, pretty, pretty fit. We just found out a week and a half ago he got stage four cancer, right? So there's like, you can go through chemo and you can beat it, right? So he, he got optimistic. He went back to the doctor a little bit like later than that. They said, the cancer spread, you got two days to live. He died yesterday. So it's like, y'all blessed. You here. You got another opportunity to beat life up, right? So let's make sure we take advantage of the time that we do got here, right? And if there's somebody in your life that you love, make sure you tell them you love them. That's important, right? You know what I'm saying? See, she lets you know she loves you, right? So, and, and I know y'all like, man, he's so dramatic. Nah, life's serious, and I just take it serious, right? That's just how I am. So, my name is Sean. I'm in the Dodo -do Roofing Industry. It will be nine years, February 6th. Okay. My son was born February 4th. I closed my first roofing deal February 6th. It's just ironic I got in the roofing industry in Black History Month, right? It just happened that way, right? So, February is a big month to me. Uh, we're going to Adventure Island this weekend to take care of my son. So got into this industry like my girl, Miss Mayana said, by complete mistake, didn't apply to get into this thing. God just said, hey man, you got some skills setting you in the wrong vehicle. Let me put you in the right one, right? Got into this thing by mistake. Best friend gave me an opportunity. I took it and ran with it. Um, kind of like how a lot of y'all got trained. They took me out for two days and they told me I got it. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's how they trained me, right? And um, I, made, I closed four deals my first week and I realized I was home. Right? I thought this was too easy it was home, and I realized I was home. Why? Because um, a lot of people come and go out of this industry. So um, long story short, um, my boy, um, who was up here earlier? Maybe it's the mayor. The guy that hired me, when he first hired me, he said, you're going to be my trainer. I said, no, not me. I just want to sell and mind my business. Like, leave me alone. And um, he said something powerful, which is when somebody can see something in you that you can't see in yourself, you got to believe that. Like, a lot of y'all fight that. You know what I'm saying? So. Long story short, as you can see, I've been on the road coaching and training for the last five years. I've trained over 200 companies in the last four years, right? Um, started Roof Hustlers in 2017, 
and I uh, spoke to my first roofing company in 2018. They paid me $300 in gift cards. I was geeked. I'm like, what's my plan for this stuff, right? Kept building more middle. And then in 2020, I trained my first roofing company, February of 2020. And why is that important? Because if you study patterns, if you study success, if you study economics, anytime pandemics or like recessions hit, it's a big group of people that contract, they shrink, they hide. And it's a small percentage of people that expand. And the people that expand make a lot of money. The people that contract, you gotta start from scratch. And in 2020, I trained my first roofing company and it's been on and popping ever since, right? So that's just a little rundown of who I am for the people who don't know who I am. I, I'm one of the people I don't think it's um, healthy to just get up and talk in front of people and they're like, well, who is you? Right? So I at least like to give people a background. I got a six-year-old and an eight-year-old and they're the reason why I do everything that I do, right? So I want to teach y'all six practices and principles, right? Six practices and principles for prosperity, right? I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today. If anybody who know me, I can get on my soapbox and go, but um, y'all been here all day, so I wanna give y'all some very practical, practical, powerful stuff, and then I'm up out of here, right? I gotta get on the road tonight to get back home. I gotta go to the bank in the morning, right? So, um, what does prosperity mean? Prosperity just means to flow. That's all it means, to flow, right? That's to get in the flow, and all of us want money flowing to us, right? So. Um, I want to show y'all some, there's going to be six principles, right, and then I want you to start focusing on using them individually, then I want you to start stacking them, right? So, of course, I'm a sales coach, but I teach strategies, tactics, and principles to be good at door-to-door -door sales. The problem with most door-to-door -door sales reps, sales reps in general, is you focus on skill set and your mindset and your principles are trash. You're so focused on learning how to sell, you have no practical things in your life to keep you succeeding. Right? And the reason why you got to start embodying principles as you become, like, uh, as you ascend in life is because behind every principle is a promise, behind your feelings is nothing. Right? I think it's four things that run our universe. It's feelings, principles, formulas, and systems. That's my belief. Feelings, formulas, principles, and systems. Right? What is the system? McDonald's. They don't make the best burger, but everybody here doesn't have one. Right? And that system is duplicatable, you can put it anywhere. Right? Principles, that's gravity. You jump, everybody in this room coming down. Right? What is a formula? H2O, right? A plus B squared equals C squared. Those are formulas. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, right? Those are formulas. And then you got feelings. We all know what those are. And I tell everybody, three, three of those will make you massively successful. One of them will put a lot of chaos in your life. So I highly encourage you, if you're somebody who operates in your feelings, start getting in principles. Right? Stop being an emotionally driven person. It, it'll make your life too chaotic. Right? So the first practice and principle that I got for you that massively successful people embody, Vern said it for y'all, you might have missed it. The first principle I got for you is you got to learn how to create clarity in your life. Right? You got to learn how to create, create clarity. Nothing becomes dynamic until it becomes clear. A lot of y'all got good ideas in here. A lot of y'all got um, potential business plans, and your lack of clarity is what's stopping you from executing. You don't know what those next steps look like, so you just, you foggy and you just in limbo. Vern said it very clear. Once you got a business plan, he said write it out plain. Get clarity. Once you get clarity, you can take some action, right? Understand. Like I said, clarity allows you to take massive action. But I, what I need you to get clarity on, get clarity on your vision. Right? Get clarity on your vision. And the key word in that sentence is get clarity on your vision. Some of y'all still living the life your mama wants you to do. Some of y'all still living the life that your friends and family want you to do. It ain't your vision. It ain't your life. Get clarity on your vision. A man without a vision will what? Perish. That's why some of y'all ain't where you want to be at. Like, you don't got no vision. And you don't got no clarity. When we start a roof hustle, it's very clear. People say, what you want to do? Get YouTube money? No. What you trying to do? I want to go to other roofing companies, coach and train their guys. That was the vision. Painted it very clear. And exactly what I do, I go to other roofing companies and I coach and train their guys. Right? So, get clarity on your visions. What else you need to get clarity on? Get clarity on your beliefs. Get clarity on your beliefs. Some of y'all don't even know why you believe what you believe. Why you believe what you believe? 
Y'all still believe in this stuff. Y'all mama taught you to believe. Your grandma taught you to believe. You don't even got your own beliefs. Y'all know what my mama used to tell me when I was growing up? Money don't grow on what? Trees. Last time I heard it's made out of paper, so where it grow at? <laughs> I'm just saying, right? But you got to change your beliefs. And you got to get clarity on what you believe, right? I believe in a principle. I believe in paying people. Why? Because when you love to pay people, people will love to pay you, right? I believe in letting money flow. That's why it's called currency. Some of y'all, the reason why your finances had went to that next level yet, because you hold your money. You don't want your money to flow at all into this world. So, get clarity on your beliefs, right? Get clarity on your vision. Next thing I need you to get clarity on, get clarity on your values. What is your values? The reason why some of y'all life ain't prosperous is because you hang with people and y'all values don't align. But since you're so emotional, you loyal to people, and you don't stop yourself from going to that next level.